As much as bag makers try to account for every eventuality when you're out on the road, there comes a time when you'll need a second smaller carry solution for those days in town. After all, you won't want to be walking around with your suitcase or travel backpack. In addition to being cumbersome to carry, they also make you stick out like a sore thumb. However, rather than saddling yourself with another dedicated bag, we'd recommend a packable backpack for its travel-friendly convenience. In this video buyer's guide, we've rounded up five of our favorites, including everything from heavy-duty hiking bags to ultralight day packs. Now let's get to packing. Just because you're looking for a packable backpack to bring on your travels doesn't mean that you have to deal with the hassle of frustrating stuff sacks or fiddly, finger-crushing carry bags. On the contrary, if you're willing to make some compromises when it comes to compactness, Air's Go Pack should do just the trick. It's for this reason that we've chosen the bag as our best grab-and-go pack. For even though Air's offering doesn't compress quite as small as some of our other picks, it's nevertheless a worthwhile option in its own right. That's because what it lacks in all-out packability, it more than makes up for in feature selection. Less a Spartan stuff bag than it is an ultralight day pack, it comes with much of what you'd find on any typical everyday carry companion. For instance, at the back of the bag, you'll find an integrated luggage pass-through should you need to fill it with extra carry. We love the reasoning for this design decision, as we've all had those trips when our eyes were bigger than our suitcase's storage capacity. Elsewhere, you'll find other smart details, like a top handle for easy manipulation, side pockets for water bottles and other small items, as well as a fidlock fastener for quick front pocket access. Though you expect these things on other kinds of carry, it's refreshing to see such amenities on appear on something as humble as a packable backpack. The construction, too, is a true cut above other options in this category. Crafted from a 300D Cordura ripstop, the Go Pack is made only better by Air's use of YKK zippers, Duraflex hardware, and Hypalon poles. Even in an ultralight, minimalist option like this one, the brand spares no expense when it comes to the details. Size-wise, the Go Pack is pretty comparable to your classic Jansport. 16.9 inches long, 11.8 inches wide, and 5 inches deep. How much the bag compresses really depends on how determined you are to squish it, but we found that it was best used when rolled or flattened. It's also super spelt, sitting right at one pound unloaded. Inside, the bag offers a spacious 21.5 liters of storage. Being an Air original, the Go Pack is chock full of organizational provisions. Open up the main compartment, and you'll find plenty of room for stashing your essentials. In addition to a tech organizer, a magazine, and a set of large over-ear headphones, we were also able to fit a laptop charger and a compact point-and-shoot camera, thanks to a set of expandable pouches. And that's not all. Air also included a lengthy zipper pocket that's perfect for notebooks and pens. Behind, there's an elasticated divider for hiding away your laptop. We love that Air outfitted the GoPack with a place to put your device, as it's rare that we're traveling without our tech. Up top, the GoPack sports a soft-lined quick-access pocket for packing away your phone, rounded out by a Fidlock front pocket for readily used items like keys and hand sanitizer, as well as a pair of side pockets for stowing your water bottle. The result is a bag that's fully equipped to take you out on the town. When you're looking for an option that's efficient in its packability and potent in its organizational potential, the Go Pack is sure to please. Sometimes, however, your storage is at a premium and you need a bag that can really pack away into your suitcase. In these instances, we'd recommend our pick for the best space saver backpack, the Mystery Ranch In-N-Out 22. Because here's the deal, the bag is incredibly compact when it's packed away for storage, and, even better, it's completely self-contained. Stuffing into its own front pocket for quick travel conversion, it measures a mere 8.5 inches by 4.5 inches by 4 inches when stored. Though it's not quite as small as Herschel's packable day pack, it's pretty impressive when you consider all that it has to offer. For one, the bag's engineering is as impressive as they come. Made from a 100D Cordura Mini Ripstop Nylon, it comes with heavy-duty YKK zippers, durable hard plastic fasteners, and attachment points as far as the eye can see. Along with some handy carry loops for hauling tools like hiking poles, you'll also find that it sports a pair of daisy chains and a set of elasticated keepers. Taken together, they help to drastically expand the bag's carrying capacity. In other words, if you're the type who likes to hike with trekking poles, this bag could very well be what you're looking for. Not that you'll necessarily need such features, for even though the In-N-Out 22 packs down to the size of a water bottle, 
It's a surprisingly expansive bag when it's unloaded. Clocking in at 16.75 inches long, 9.5 inches wide, and 9 inches deep, it offers 21.9 liters of interior volume. Should you want to cinch the bag in, there's a set of compression straps located on either side. Not bad for a backpack that tips the scales at less than one pound unloaded. Unclip the shroud and release the drawstring, and you'll find that the in and out 22 offers plenty of space for your essentials. Within the main compartment, we were able to fit a tech organizer, a jacket, as well as a pair of large over-ear headphones and a magazine. Assuming that you're using the bag for hiking though, we'd expect that you could fit even more. Out front, Mystery Ranch has fitted the bag with a quick access top pocket. We liked this for smaller tools like a knife and a set of keys, though it would also work well for snacks and other trailside necessities. Below, there's a mesh compartment for smaller carries such as notebooks, pens, and point and shoot cameras. Finally, you'll find a side water bottle pocket for carrying your fluids. If you find yourself in need of more to drink, Mystery Ranch also built the bag with a two liter hydration reservoir pocket. Because it's designed to help you summit the gnarliest of peaks, the in and out 22 naturally comes with some pretty respectable ergonomic provisions. The shoulder straps, for instance, are contoured such that they sit on your frame more comfortably. While they are admittedly pretty thin, the removable adjustable sternum strap helps to ease some of the load. We really appreciate the locking mechanism on this strap too, as it makes it quick to adjust, yet secure when worn. Honestly, we were pleasantly surprised by the In-N-Out 22. Even despite being a super light and extremely packable day pack, it's nevertheless robust in its construction. It lost out to our next pick as the best option for hiking, but suffice to say, it was a close call. Next up, we have the Beast 18, an ultralight packable alpine bag from one of our favorite travel gear suppliers around, Matador. Because of the integrated frame and abundance of adventure-ready features, we love this pack for bagging summits. Naturally, then, we've included the Beast 18 as our best hiking pack. When you're in search of something that can go the distance, yet still stuff away for travel, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better option. First off, let's talk materials. Made from a combination of a durable 210D Robic Nylon Outer and a high visibility 100D Robic Nylon Liner, the Beast 18 is made only better by its bonded thread and bar tack reinforcements. They're small touches, sure, but they're important to have in a bag that's purpose built for taking on the outdoors. What's more is that thanks to the addition of a built in waterproof UTS coating, you can rest assured knowing that your pack will protect its contents from any inclement weather. Storage wise, the Beast 18 isn't quite as roomy as some of the competition just 18 liters. Assuming that you need more space, we'd suggest the 28 liter model. However, we prefer the smaller size and lighter weight of the 18 for shorter day length excursions and quick peak attempts. At 20 inches long, 10 inches wide, and six and a half inches deep, it's pretty unobtrusive on body. And here's the best part. Even with the internal frame sheet, it only weighs some one pound five ounces. That being said, it's hardly lacking when it comes to what it can carry. Open up the main compartment's asymmetrical clamshell zip, and you'll be able to fit things like lightweight jackets, tech kits, and over-ear headphones. There's also a handy hydration sleeve that can hold bladders as large as three liters. Simply slide the reservoir inside, feed the tubing under the pass-through, and you're ready to roll. Within the oversized front compartment, Matador has placed a small quick access pocket for your accessories. We opted to put a knife, a set of keys, and a flashlight here but it'd work well for any of your smaller essentials. Below, the compartment offers plenty of space for stowing things like notebooks, pens, and point-and-shoot film cameras. Of course, there's an expandable side pocket for stashing your water bottle, should a hydration bladder be more than you need. And that's not all. Around the outside of the bag, Matador has opted to include handy add-ons like a Hypalon reinforced daisy chain for external storage and a set of gear loops for attaching your tools. Being a hiking backpack, the Beast 18 offers on-body support in spades. As we've mentioned before, it features a spring steel frame for a firm yet flexible foundation. When expanded, it helps keep the bag upright. However, with a simple twist and fold, it can be packed down into the included compression sack. It's far from the smallest bag when stuffed away, but it's still pretty respectable at roughly nine inches in diameter and three and a half inches in depth. It's worth noting that packing the Beast can take a little practice. The springy frame isn't always the most intuitive. Elsewhere, you'll find that the Beast 18 comes with additional support measures, like a stowable hip belt to take some of the weight off of your shoulders. 
Admittedly, it's pretty thin, so you won't want to load up the bag too, too much. Thankfully, however, it does come with a removable sternum strap as well. And let's not forget the straps and back panel. Padded with EVA foam and covered in a breathable mesh, they provide for a comfortable wear experience with the added bonus of some solid moisture management. If you know Matador for its stellar travel accessories, we're happy to tell you that the Beast 18 holds up to the brand's typical top-notch execution. Give the pack a try, and we guarantee that you won't be disappointed. Should you need something even tougher for your outdoor exploits though, we'd suggest you peep our pick for the best rugged option, the Summit Pack from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. What this backpack lacks in organization, it more than makes up for an adventure-ready build quality. The defining feature of the bag is undeniably its DCH-150 construction, made from a combination of Dyneema fabric, a material that's some 15 times stronger than steel, and durable 150 denier polyester It offers near indestructible performance with the added benefit of some impressive water resistance. And that's not all. The Summit Pack is built to be tough in other ways too. Along with bar tacking the bag at all of its critical stress points, Hyperlite has also tape sealed the body to further guard against unwanted moisture ingress. That being said, much of the bag's burly build quality has to do with its simplicity. Measuring some 27 inches long, 10 inches wide, and 10 inches deep, it offers an expansive 30 liters of storage capacity. Arguably more impressive though is the weight. At 15.4 ounces unloaded, it's on par with our other picks in terms of heft even despite being both larger and tougher. Accordingly, this means that the bag packs away a little differently than those that come with their own stuff sack. We found it best to fold and clip using the included compression straps, but the Summit Pack is pliable enough that you can make it work for your carry requirements. Of course, this means that the Summit Pack is a little lacking when it comes to organization. Open up the roll top main pocket and you'll find that it's essentially a cavernous tube. For this reason, we were able to fit quite a lot inside the bag, with room to spare. So, along with a small water bottle, the Summit Pack could also carry a point-and-shoot film camera, a tech organizer, a lightweight jacket, as well as a set of large over-ear headphones, and a magazine. Of course, your carry would be considerably different if you were bagging a Peak, so we're confident that it could hold all of what you need. Around the outside, Hyperlite has fitted the bag with a bevy of different attachment points for use with accessories. Between the straps and the shell, there are a total of four daisy chains for adding things like the brand's stuff pocket and shoulder pocket. When combined with the elasticated shock cord, the result is a bag that lets you build out your carry accommodations according to your needs. Finally, let's talk about the on-body experience. Though the bag offers nothing in the way of back padding, it's surprisingly supportive thanks to the harness system. The shoulder straps are made with a spacer mesh that's both breathable and also forgiving. Ideally, We'd like just a bit more cushion, but the sternum strap and hip belt help to take some of the load off of your shoulders. Made from an ultralight nylon webbing, they're assistive of the fit without being intrusive to wear. While the Hyperlite Summit Pack isn't a bag for the organizationally obsessive, it does fulfill its purpose quite well, an ultralight, ultra-tough carry solution for those tackling last-ditch climbs. If you're looking for something that'll hang with you no matter the scale of the adventure, this is one option that's sure to serve you well. Rounding out our list is the Packable Day Pack from Herschel. Though it's not as featureful as the rest of our picks, we just had to include it because of its affordability. There's nothing in this category that comes remotely close as far as price, build quality, and brand reputation are concerned. It's for these reasons that we've chosen the Packable Day Pack as our best budget pick. When you're in need of something simple and effective to expand your carry's capability, this bag could do just the ticket. Beyond its economical cost, the Herschel Packable Day Pack brings other things to the table too. Just take the weight, for instance. At a scant 6.7 ounces unloaded, the bag is markedly lighter than anything else we've included in this roundup. Expectedly, some compromises had to be made in order to get it this featherweight. Constructed from a thin ripstop fabric, it's little more than a cavernous catch-all attached to a pair of flimsy nylon shoulder straps. However, it's an incredibly compact little bag, both when it's expanded and when it's packed away. At 17.75 inches long, 12.25 inches wide, and 5 inches deep, it's comparable to most standard book bags. Come time to stuff it into the interior self-storage pocket, it collapses down to the size of a small water bottle. Capacity-wise, the Packable Day Pack delivers a respectable 24.5 liters of storage. Like the previous pick from Hyperlite, it doesn't boast much in the way of organization. 
Nevertheless, we found it surprisingly accommodating for everyday carry. Within the bag's built-in stuff pocket, we placed a small point-and-shoot film camera. Below, the packable day pack features a spacious main cabin that offers enough room for a pair of large over-ear headphones, a water bottle, a tech organizer, as well as a magazine. There's not much in the way of pockets, so it's to your advantage to fill the pack with smaller carry solutions. It does at least come with a small quick access front pocket. In addition to some notebooks and a pen, we also liked this compartment for carrying travel-sized bottles of hand sanitizer and keys. Finally, let's discuss the fit. Because of its unstructured design and flexible materials, we wouldn't recommend the packable day pack for extended jaunts or especially heavy loads. The bag is capable of carrying quite a lot, sure, but it's not nearly supportive enough to save your back. And while we didn't have any issues with the nylon webbing straps, the lack of padding on the webbing means that they're liable to dig into your shoulders the longer you wear the bag. Herschel hit it out of the park with the packable day pack by offering a fuss-free, wallet-friendly option to bring along on your travels. While we wouldn't recommend it for hiking or other strenuous excursions, it's the perfect pack to bring along for a quick outing around town.